By the way, did you know you can actually do regular expressions with the string operations? I'll show you. I'll give you an example now, okay? Let's verify. Um, so in this regular expression, the string operation, we're going to uh, do, that's a test case. You go T box, set, bugger, email, right? Whatever that may be. And we want to do, we want to do a little kind of like, is the email valid? Is email valid? Now the email address is going to look like some standard kind of email address, right? Test user at example slavering organization cognizant.com. And then we'll do this. This is where it gets complicated, okay? We're going to do uh, string search done this before if you if you just look up there it's like the fifth one down string search okay we're gonna do now string search and we're gonna go get out of the way Jesus Christ string search square bracket so booger open square bracket okay and this is where we take in email you'd see it in the list if we'd already run this test okay but I'm just making these things up as I go along so close square close curly close square Okay, now this is where we open up a square bracket. This is where things are going to get really complicated really quickly. We're using regular expression syntax now, so I need that. I need that at symbol. That means the beginning, the beginning of the string. Okay, and the beginning of the string, we're going to go. We want um, words, word characters, dots or hyphens. Now you represent word characters um, with a backslash W, right? But I said word characters, dots, I just put a dot in, and hyphens. Right, so test dot user, do you get it? Um, word characters, T-E-S-T, -E right, dot word characters, U-S-E-R. So we've got that in, close off the square, round the square, more like. And then we want the plus, we want a plus for the at symbol, okay? And then we open up the square brackets again, and we say we want, hang on, I'll show you. Backslash W for word character, dot or a hyphen. We close that off, and we need plus and then a backslash dot. And this is where we have to type in bunch of stuff right so all of the the entire alphabet all lowercase a to z as well as uppercase a to z close that off and we could have numbers in there as well no that's not the case um two to six because tld top level domains they, they can be like togo like to two characters only but they can also be longer. Think like edu, but it's a general rule, right? It's, it's just the way it is. Um, close that. Sorry, close the close the curly, and you represent the end of a string by dollar like that. Fuck. Close the curly. Close. Sorry. Close the square. Close the curly. This is where you bring out your crucifix uh, or whatever god you represent or like and pray that this string works because it's really complicated. But before we do that, um, I'm gonna put a QR code on the screen, uh, probably all over the video, uh, inviting you to the Telegram Tosca community where we have 3,000 people. Um, read the mandatory message before you post anything, otherwise you'll get kicked out. And also I'll put a QR code if you wanna buy me a coffee because I hope some of this stuff helps you. Okay, let's hit enter, see what happens. Huh. didn't work. Oh no! Oh, oh Jesus! Um, let's change it to a verify because it's a regex, right? Uh let's see if it runs. I don't trust the syntax highlighting. And no, it didn't run. Uh, sugar. So there's the email, right? Test user example dot com. And the regular expression. Buffer with name is email valid. Was not found. Oh, there has to be something wrong with this this string. Um, let's Brit. 
I'm sorry. I'm I I genuinely struggle with these things. Um, I know I have some videos up there. Like I have a regular expression video up there, and it's got like you know, twenty thousand views. Um, let's make this a bit bigger, right? String search. Square bracket buffer. Email. We do have email. E M A I L. No spaces in it. Okay. No spaces in that either. Um, so we're searching that string and we're using a regular expression. Beginning of the line, square bracket, backslash w dot hyphen, close it. We need an at symbol. The, the By the way, the plus and the at, they're not together. It's actually the plus is with this stuff. And the plus symbol means um, matches one or more characters. Okay, so you can basically have uh, test user. That, would, that can match this test user, okay. And then we have this at symbol, another string, word character, dot hyphen, close it, one or more, okay. That covers the example. And then it's backslash dot, lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, close, length, two to six, dollar, square, close, okay. Hmm, that's really weird, eh? Okay, let's kill that. Um, I don't know, man. Um, what could we use in here? Input? It wouldn't work, would it? Expression provided in test step item email that could not be parsed due to the following reason. Value never closed before opening new one. I'm just going to take that out, okay? The little hat. To see. I'm going to change that to a verify. I'm almost certain it needs to be a verify. Let's try it again, right? It's not finding it. How weird is that? So hang on. Cur left curly, left square, left curly, left square. Square, curly, square. Expression provided in test step item is email valid. Could not be parsed due to the following reason. Value, that's the value column, never closed before opening a new one. I'm wondering do I need to um, put a little kind of like a backslash in there? Like that. That work? No, didn't like that. Same error message. Didn't like it. Change that to a verify. Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to go to the Telegram community and ask them for uh, some help here. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. I'll come back with a solution later.